Okay, before I switch on, this is my uh, DCF 77 Frankfurt time signal receiver. I don't know if you can see down the back there, incorporates a uh, 16F873 pick chip and associated bits. All done neatly on the back on a simple piece of uh, Vero board. It's not boxed yet, but there's the three LEDs. And later you'll see them in action. We've got a yellow, a, re uh, a red, and a green. The red is for uh, data error parity. The yellow is zero bit, and the green is one bit. Um, right, I'll switch on now, and we'll see what happens. So there's the author. Right, it takes a little time to warm up. I'm waiting for the antenna, really. I know it sounds stupid, but that's uh, the, not the antenna, the um, the DCF receiver, which is uh, fastened onto the antenna. And that takes a little time to warm up before it kicks in. And we'll just wait patiently, and you can watch what's happening. While we're waiting for that, we'll just follow the wires. By the way, I'm running on uh, another homemade thing, which is a power supply. I've set it at 7.5 volts so that it doesn't overdrive the, uh, the regulator. Right, still waiting. While, while we're waiting, I'll show the antenna. It's not boxed or anything yet. Look at that, we've got five meters of cable. And what I've done, I've placed it inside a piece of water pipe so that it's nice and compact and it's not going to get damaged in there. Obviously, it's, uh, it doesn't affect the RF because it's not metallic. So, in a sec, this should be kicking in. We'll just wait and see. Trying to get the camera the best so that you can see the display without um, dazzling. As you can see, the yellow and green LEDs are lit. For those who are colour blind, the green one is the furthest away, the yellow is in the centre, the red one at the bottom is not lit. Right, we're still waiting. Like I say, once it does kick in, we're away. The programming was done for my, for me by my friend Tony from JRW Electronics. There's a red light with a parity error, so it didn't receive uh, in that minute. But it's uh, it's counting down now, as you can see, warming up nicely. You can see the uh, yellow and green light flashing again. Yellow zero bit, green one bit, and you can match that to the. DCF 77 time at Frankfurt. So 35 seconds and counting before we receive the DCF signal. I don't know what it is but I've been fascinated with uh, atomic time for many years. Finally got round to uh, doing something about it. I've just got to get the receiver boxed and in a case looking nice but uh, I think they look just as nice out of the box so seven six five four three two one and there it is at my exact time of filming Friday 31st of July 2009 13.36 and 12.13 14. And there you can see the uh, LEDs sequencing with the uh, the information pulses. Like I say, if it doesn't receive a full a full um, signal in one minute, and there's a parity, the red LED will flash. It looks white here because it's not on, but uh, there's the yellow and green ones. And that, my friends, is my 
homemade DCF 77 receiver atomic time signal from main fling gun Frankfurt and uh, by the way I'm receiving this in Bulgaria near to the city of Plovdiv at the time of filming and um, I believe it's about if I remember rightly um, it's either 1500 or 2500 kilometers I always get mixed up uh, distance from the receiver so we're doing quite well there it's holding well and of course you get a better signal at night when it gets dark because of the propagation so I hope you've enjoyed watching this I'll try and answer as many questions as I can why not have a go at making one yourself as for the software I uh, as the, the uh, it's, it's programmed in C but I'm not an expert on that I know nothing about it as I say it's all been done for me by my friend Tony in England so enjoy <laughs>